Craig and Emily, after hours of waiting, a standing only room, courtroom, eventually thinned out after, if, after spectators waited for hours for election results to be revealed. We had a situation with the OS machine, which is the machine that we feed our absentee ballots through. On election night, this courtroom was filled to capacity as Knoxville County citizens and candidates waited for election results to come in. However, most spectators did not know that process would last all night. This was the largest election in Knoxville County in which we had 38 ballot types, and that's a lot of ballot types to scan through at one night. After revealing the official numbers of the election day votes around 10 p.m., multiple races were close. Officials tell WTVA with more than 1,000 absentee ballots, the results of the election were subject to change. So I don't like leaving absentees uncounted because you never know what the situation may be. However, the machine overheated and shut down because of the number of ballots. It started just spitting out black marks and that would not allow the ballots to be read. The committee began to search for a new machine. In which we did find one after maybe two to three hours wait. The Secretary of State Office offered the option to wait until the next morning to count the ballots. However, Knoxville County Circuit Court Clerk Frida Phillips tells WTVA absentee ballots would be counted even if that meant staying until the next day. In the best interest of me and my county, and in the best interest of the candidate, it was best for me to make sure that those absentee ballots was counted here that night in the place of locking them up and doing this or that. To be, it's best to be safe than to be sorry sometimes. Now, I was here on election night, and where some people used this walkway hours before official results were revealed, some waited until that time where they did reveal them around 5 a.m., and they then used this walkway to walk to their cars and go home, saying that the wait was worth it. Aaron Wilson reporting live in Knoxville County, WTVA 9 News.